at this day. Look at this day. Just look at it. Are you looking? You. All right. Don't just listen to this. You got to look. You got to look. You got to look. Look at this day. And there ain't a single cloud in the sky. Why do say? Why do people say it like that? There's not a cloud in the sky. Like where the hell else would the clouds be? You don't really need to say in the sky. There's not a single cloud. All right, that's it. We're making that the new thing. You don't have to say in the sky because that's kind of implied when you're talking about clouds, right? Because there ain't no clouds on the ground. Oh, I do not feel 100% today. I do not feel, hey, there's Beaver Pond where I saw two beavers. First time I've ever seen beavers. Oh, I just saw one, I just saw one again. Right down there. He saw me though, he heard me and ducked into the water. That's too bad. I saw a brown little creature for about less than a second and then he ducked into the, ducked under the water and swam away. He's over there, he'll surface in a second. Is he underwater right now? He must be. Is that wrong of me to say he? Because I'm assuming gender. It's probably not right. Man, this world is just stupid. All right, so I do not feel 100% today. It is about 60 degrees, maybe up here a few hundred feet high. It's about 59, 58. The sun is out. Long black sleeve shirt. Just between, we are just between cold, what am I trying to say? Um, we are like right in that gray area for, uh, is it t-shirt weather or is it uh, long sleeve weather? And here I go into the woods where there's not going to be a lot of sun. So I chose the long sleeve. If I make it, no, not if, when I make it to the end of the trail, um, there'll be some sun there. And also on my way there, I'm going to be a little warm from moving. And it rained all day yesterday. Basically, all day, all day, and into the night. Um... So I knew that it was going to be a little soggy, but it is late afternoon now. It is like 4.45 in the afternoon. And I won't be done with this trail until like 6.45, maybe 6.30, maybe 6.15. Shaw Pond Trail, Great Gaines Memorial Forest, Franklin, New Hampshire. As I was saying, I do not feel 100% today. I woke up very late because Black Cat kept me awake until about five in the morning. I do recall just before falling asleep, I do recall seeing the very faint light in the sky outside the window. through the window. Man, what is wrong with me? Through the window. What did I say? I don't know what I said, but I saw the very faintest light of, of morning. And I think I was asleep within minutes, but that was at like five something AM, 5.15, 5, 5.15. Oh. I slept so late today. So stupid. So stupid. But that's what the cat did. Because the cat's in major heat. This was the fourth night. I was so tired. Because I did not get a full night's sleep the night before. And, uh, man, see? It's wet. All the rain yesterday. I knew it was going to be wet, even though I am fasting at the moment. 
and I am about 25 and a half hours away from ending my fast. Um, I'm good. I'm good. As I was not feeling 100% earlier, I'd say now I'm about 80. I'm about 80, 85%. I took some ibuprofen. I keep hearing chipmunks. Um, I took some ibuprofen and then I thought to myself, I'm gonna tough it out. Because there's people who, well, there's probably people who've started the Appalachian Trail already this spring down in GA. And those people who make it all the way through and finish in August or even September. They, they wake up some days <laughs> and they are not feeling their best. And they have a choice to be lazy, sit around a shelter all day where they've slept the night before, probably. A lot of people sleep in shelters that are set up along the trail um, they're very similar to the shelter here at the end of the Shaw Pond Trail that I've had in videos before or so that so they they have a choice to sit around and shelter all day or in some cases uh, they're in a, what's called a trail town along the, along the route people duck into a trail town for a night Hey, some people can even sit there for a night or two or three. Don't matter. Whatever they want to do, right? They wake up and they're not feeling the best. They decide to themselves, I am not hiking today. I'm going to take a day of rest. I feel like crap. Or, or they wake up and they say, oh, I feel like crap. But, I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna go walk anyway. I'm gonna take my hike today anyway. And they push through it. Whatever pain they're in, whatever discomfort they're in, maybe their stomach doesn't feel the best because the night before they just ate an entire pizza and a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's on the Appalachian Trail. What? Yes, in a trail town. People duck into trail towns, as I said, and they often go pig wild. Carb loading. Which reminds me of another video that I wish to make about... Well, don't you need carbs for energy to hike? And then I guess a lot of, actually I shouldn't say a lot of, because that's, that's subjective, I don't know if it's true. But people on keto go to the gym. People on keto go to the gym while fasting. Right now, I have not eaten since Monday. It is now Thursday. So I had, last time I ate was 6 p.m. Monday night. That is almost three whole days ago, 71 hours ago. And here I am taking on um, probably about an hour and a half hike. And as I walk down this hill, I'm about to start going up a bigger hill. 
the biggest one of this trail so far. So, if anyone has actually listened to me ramble for the past so many minutes, congratulations, that's awesome. I appreciate you hanging in there and listening to what I gotta say. I am sniffly, took some antihistamines, about to come up on a creek, about to pop some music in my ears, I'm about to go. I am going, but I'm about to keep going. This is a lot wetter than it has been. This is the uh, amazing Myster Myster Mysterio stream, comes out of the ground. Okay, water down there. Water, 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 what, what? No water. Where'd the stream go? Comes out of the ground, yo. All right. Uh, blue blazing. I know the trail. If the trail is not uh, horribly marked, this Shaw Pond Trail, like other trails, have been. This has been dried previous two times I've come up this trail. This was definitely not running the first two times. It is now not a hindrance at all. A little soggy, but easy to get uh, around. Hey, look at that. Water from a rock. Huh, isn't that biblical? Okay, here we go. Methinks this is a sign of Jesus Cristo and his presence here, not only on earth, but on the Shaw Pond Trail. Water from a rock. Now, water from a rock, that's biblical, ain't it? Wow, I do believe so. Look at that. Where's it coming from? Is there a stream through there? There's no stream through there. Is there a stream over there? There's no stream over there. Oh, any water, 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 water. No water. Water from a rock. Holy Jesus Cristo. Ay, caramba. Ay, caramba. Pinnacle rock. Big rock, big rock. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Two gray squirrels. Wildlife, wow. Okay. All right. Halfway there, maybe. Look at that tree. Hard to do this when I'm not looking. Eh, whatever. Ah. All right, how far back do I gotta sit? All right. Oh. Yeah, I'm out of breath, I'm out of shape. I'm still working on getting in shape. This is about my seventh hike of the year. Since about approximately April 2nd, 3rd, something, 4th, 5th, I have no idea. I think it's my 6th hike, I'm not keeping score. Oh! Ah. Oh. Okay, gnats, flies, sitting still in one spot. See, now... You don't really have to say it like that, do you? Sitting still in one spot. Well, if you're sitting still, of course you're in one spot. Right, 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 of course. Okay, gnats, long sleeve, dumb. 58 to 60 degrees with uh, no strong wind, short sleeve weather, even when you're in the shade most of the time. Note to self. I don't know why I didn't know that before. Okay, that's it for now.
onward. All right, there's the pond, baby. This is, uh, trail gets easier each time I'm out here. Love it. Love it. A cow, a coyote with someone's chihuahua in his teeth. What? So, huh. Ugh. Gnat in my mouth. Uh. Oh no, it's up there. I thought the shitter was gone, but the brush is just getting thicker. As the season moves along, I couldn't see it. God bless America. I love you, America. I need, need a wide angle lens. This is cool, it's nice. It's my third time here. I don't think I can get tired of it. Whew. Okay. I'm 99% sure I just saw a Shaw Pond monster. Right there, I'm telling you. I saw it. I saw it. Don't tell me I didn't. Don't lie. Don't lie like that. I did see it. Sniffle. Oh, say can you see? It's really difficult to sing one song while listening to another in my ears. Hey, it's backwards. Flags backwards. Don't have much view of the pond in the spring and a lot less in the summer. At least back here where I'm sitting, I mean, near the lean to shelter. It's really weird there's a flagpole up here. It is a Great Gaines Memorial Forest, which is sort of part of like Veterans Memorial Recreation Area. So in that sense, it makes sense. Still, <laughs> actually reminds me of a place called Camp, Camp, G Camp Glen Gray, which is a former Boy Scout camp in the Ramapo Mountains of, uh, I'm not trying to think of the name I know, I'm just pausing for dramatic effect. 
Nueva Heresy. Camp Glen Gray. It's a great place to go hiking. Um, I think you can camp up there now. I'm not sure if you just want to put a tent up. They also have... I don't know if they have cabins or not. But anyway, that should be its whole own video. Whole own is that should be its whole own video. Does that make sense? Duh. I don't want to speak. Anyway, so many gnats. It's gorgeous up here. I could sit out here for a while. If it was, even in the wind, the gnats were bothering me. Think the wind's blowing? A little bit. I don't want to be bothered by gnats. This, the first time I came out here, it was such a strenuous hike. Now it's a fast hike. Like, I want to go back already, but I know I'm going to be back in like, like, like five minutes I'll be back. Not really. But now that this is my third time, it's a, a very easy, very quick hike, but the gnats are pissing the shit out of me, so I'm heading back. Woo! Back to the parking lot. <gasps> hey! Oh, it's my shadow. Oh, I thought there was somebody else out here. It's a lot of rock right there. That's, that's definitely a lot of rock right there. That'll be a cool scramble up to the top of that hill. Usually, usually the hike back on an out and back trail or, you know, like the drive home from somewhere usually seems faster. Like the 45 minutes to get there is like, oh my God, when are, when are we ever gonna get there? But then the drive back feels like 10 minutes. And sometimes the hike back. Feels like it's a lot faster. And not today. There's no, uh, There's no sign going down that way, but there's a bridge down there. Somewhere down there. I shall make a side excursion. Maybe next time. If not next time, then maybe the time after. If not the time after that, then the time after that. Or maybe, you know, if not then, then, you know, sometime at a later date. I think that's the disc golf course down there, part of it, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, because look, here's one up here. And they have those white arrow signs. Actually, it's not exactly correct. The arrow itself is black. But uh, the sign is white. All right, so. That's the disc golf course. That means I'm close to the end. All right. Look at my hair. Cool. I'm a little sweaty. Not too bad. Probably shouldn't be driving with earbuds in. But hell, it's, a, it's only six minutes from here. It's a dirt road. Ain't no big deal. So that was a great hike. I don't remember what time I got here. I have no idea. I should have should have kept track what time I what time I got here. What time I turned the car off and got out of the car. Hey, yeah, people waving at me. Cars on the other side of the road. Ba -ba 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 like a rhinestone cowboy. I'm seeing a Bruce Springsteen. Don't think it's anything different. It's not. So uh, here we go. Ready? Woo! 
like a rhinestone cowboy. Whoa. Um. <laughs> don't hold the phone by that side of it, dumbass. So, um, that was a good hike. It's only like, what time did I leave, get there? I don't remember. Like 5.45. No, no, no. 4. 4.45. Should have kept track. So, oh, we're not me and mom. But, so when I go up there to the Shaw Pond and back, and I don't really dilly-dally that much. Um, it's a pretty easy hike. It's not that long. Really not that long compared to the first time I hiked it, which felt like forever. Plus I was stopping a lot, because I was, <laughs> because the, the first time I hiked it, I was so enthralled by, by being in the woods. Um, uh, every stream and, and all the rocks on the side of the road. I mean, the side of the trail, like that, you know? Um, oh, uh, Bumps, bumps. This is not a smooth dirt road. But then again, how many dirt roads really are smooth? And uh, I got to break a lot, and it's hurting my ankle. So anyway, um, the first time I hiked it, it felt like forever. I was stopping all the time. But now, I, I had said that I want to like make this my my exercise hike because. You know, up to Shaw Pond Trail and back, I think I can do it in like an hour. And that's not a long hike, but it has a good good amount of uphill. And it's a good exercise. It's gonna get me in shape, I think. Although it won't really get me in total shape for being able to do like, <laughs> like a thousand or 2000 foot gain in a day or 3,000 foot gain in a day. This is only a few hundred feet gain in a day. And um, in an hour, 400 foot gain in an hour. But to actually spend a day out on a trail somewhere hiking and, and, and going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down and gaining like 1,000 feet, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in a day, yeah. This is not gonna really get me in shape for that. It'll get me in decent shape, but I don't think it will for that. But uh, I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. So I can't really look at the camera right now very much because I'm on a regular road and I'm almost there. So this hike is done, I'm almost back already. And this song has been over for like two minutes. And, uh, yeah, that was awesome. If anyone has actually paid attention to this video for this long, I commend you. And once again, you are a gold star winner, A+. Bye.